Hey, what's going on, boys and girls? This is Splint 2. I want you guys with a, uh, well, it's not really a patch day video. It's more of like a late patch video. I'm sorry. I didn't get it out yesterday. Had some things going on. The wifey's sick, all that stuff. So I appreciate your guys' patience. Patience. We'll get over all the little patches and stuff that kind of came out. We'll go over all the, um, all the patch notes for you guys send you guys in the right direction for all these different things and show you guys what's going on with the cow skins all the different skins oh it's amazing so make sure you guys say what's up in the chat for your shout outs and we will start this off here going like it what's up mr melon gum we got gaming with wayne we got mr chet we got uh, who else we got here pauline welcome master vlogger mr god mad moo as we got just say what's up if you want your shout out in chat you always do go howdy 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 going on split howdy howdy mr cookie monster okay so it's 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 moo day it's it's moo day not moving day it's moo day um apparently for all the punishment that we took from the cows on pine valley for over a, a couple hundred hours it's paid off it's paid off it's here. Oh gosh. Oh, it's the cow skin. It looks so amazing. Oh god. It's it's utterly tastic. Okay, the moo puns. The moo the moo puns. Okay, I, I can't help it. <laughs> Mad moo. Norway, what's up, buddy? Phil, what's going on? Lucas, it's potato. It's potato. All right, so yeah, we got all the cow skins. We'll check them out on the, all the vehicles here. I hope you guys can get a little bit better view for the people who haven't unlocked it yet. And then we'll go buy the other things. So I have it on, I have it on um, dollar mode right now. We're on a new save. So that way I don't mess up my hard mode save for you guys. And we're just going to say, we're going to show off the parts. We're going to bring some things in. We're going to take them off. Do they come with udders? I don't know, man. We'll have to look. Do they come with udders? Like, uh, well, I can't bend my head down there and take a look, so. Nope. And yep. Yeah. I'm not under I don't understand why, but can we get a hood that's painted? Maybe as an option. Please. Please and thank you. Oh gosh. We've we got cow skins, boys. <laughs> Window liquors. <laughs> gotta drink your milk. You know, so Oh the dozer looks nice too. I like how they did the uh the buckets here. The uh the blade actually, sorry. It's all worn. Looks awesome. Absolutely love it. Fair enough. Car looks uglier than before. That's right. That's right. I don't even care, man. I'll rock my freaking moo skins. We gotta rock these moo skins out. Then we'll show you the other one too. The other one's a dragon skin as well. That one's that one's pretty tight looking also. I, I like the blue color. So the excavator is amazing too. Changed uh, the orange into the yellow on the on the uh, white and black looks really nice they done I think the I think honestly I mean not just because you know bias towards it but the cow skin looks really sharp looking I think the colors you know it's just the contrast of it Paul what is going on did he did we seriously get cow skins yes we did we got cow skins running with the cows Mr. Paul, buddy. All right, so we're gonna go. We're gonna go look at the other skins now. So let's drive on over there. All right, babe. So let's go ahead and drive on over to uh, town, and then we'll switch all of them back, and then I'll come back really fast, guys. And then uh, we'll start dollar moding some things in and checking out all the different repairs, all the features. We'll go over the channel log for you guys here. The stream's only gonna be about an hour, so and we're gonna also leak some of the spots for the story mode. And how you unlock the cow skin and we'll go over that and all the happy stuff i don't want to spoil too much for you guys right now i want you guys to get out there and play it and if you haven't played the game or you don't own the game make sure you check out the description below there's a link there for the gold rush discord gold rush the game and as well as the patch notes if so if you want to read the patch notes before i go over them you're more than welcome to it's all down there in the link and it's amazing so we're gonna we're just getting over there quick as we can we're not we're not we're not we're not wasting time we're not wasting time yeah 
like I say, we're just on normal mode, so we're not worried about breaking nothing. But damn, this cow, this cow truck could really haul ass. Uh, it didn't explode hitting the wall. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, we will, we will definitely play with that too. Here in a second. You have to unlock the uh, the areas. So, okay, so we have all the cow skins. So you guys just check those out. You guys already know the other the other ones too, but uh, we'll show you them if you haven't seen them. We'll go truck paint confirm. Here's the gold. You guys have seen this. Uh, yeah, chat. Yeah, they. Yeah, I saw that too as well. Yeah, all the, the so we did have a hot fix today too as well, guys. We'll go over the hot fix. We will go over all that stuff. So just hold on a minute, and then we'll find a couple pieces of paper here along the way. We'll show you a few of them where they're at. I will probably have to jump onto a new save for that because I've already picked them all up. Oops, didn't purchase it. My bad. We got the pink. Oh, we'll just jump right to what you guys want to see. You've seen all the other ones. No, did not purchase. Come on, man. Click. Paint. Confirm. There we go. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. You got. You guys got to vote. Which one's better, cow skin or dragon scales? What do you guys think? Which one? Which one do you think looks better? Let's turn them all. We'll turn them all. Uh, we'll turn them all in there, and then we'll go back. We'll buy the uh, fast travel and test it out. Be right back, smoke break. Okay. Go back to the, uh... Boo! 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 Dog, oh, damn it, you're not Team Moo? What are we gonna do with you guys? Shit. Okay, there we go. Fast travel is already unlocked. You guys, you guys, I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to, I don't even know what to say right now. I'm so disappointed. I don't even know. You guys, you guys just made me cry there a little bit. You guys just, you guys just made me cry. You guys, you guys just made me cry a little bit. Lactose intolerant. You're like split. Well, you do know that a dragon eats a cow, right? Um, no, not in my universe. It doesn't. Sorry. I don't know what you're talking about. I have I have no clue what you're talking about. <laughs> Let's delete all those um dragon skin uh, comments there. <clears throat> yep. You have to put those guys on mute. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, they're they both are, they both look uh, uh, great. There was also some other things uh, tossed around with the uh, skins that they were kind of teasing um, that are going to look fantastic as well too. So that is going to be great for the skins. The skins are fun. At first, I was kind of like, oh, they should just do some other thing. Maybe maybe fell on a little bit of the negative bandwagon of the uh, you know fix the bugs versus putting anything else out, right? But we can see what they're doing. They are fixing everything that we asked for and, and they, that needs to be fixed. So why not, you know, why not have somebody that's normally not coding or something like that? They can design these and put these out, put them, put them in there, put them out. People want stuff. People want, people want new goodies, right? So, and we, we enjoy them and we, we appreciate them because it, it does change the game. However you want to play the game, whether you want cow skins or you want dragon skins or you want gold paint, all that good stuff, you know, you can play however you want. And that's the great thing about the game. You play it however you want to play it. Alright, let's check out these ones. Because I have not checked them out. Yeah, the excavator does look nice. Dozer. Mm. It's hard to tell in the dozer. Because the dozer doesn't have any big flat pieces, right? Where you can see the scales. Like, maybe down here. But even then, see. half Most of them are, like, cut off. And they have to be bent. Because the pieces are real small. So... Yeah, they are doing an absolute amazing job. See the rock truck now. The rock truck as the dragon skin. I do like the white and the uh, red, even on the cow skin too. It looks. It does make them look nice. Hmm. Front loader. 
I just don't like you, front loader. I'm sorry. I don't care what skin's on you. I mean, yeah. I'm sorry. I just. Sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, front loader, man. I, I, just, I just don't want to say about you. And that's my own personal preference. I don't think it's a complete pile of shit. I, I don't. It's just. It's not my preferred piece of equipment. So. <laughs> it's not. Just sell the front loader now. Just get just get it out of here. So that's the two new skins. We have the... And how you acquire them is obviously... If you're not using dollar mode, you're going to be... This one is purchasable. I think it's two million per, per truck. So it's more expensive than the gold. And the cow skin is able to be got as long as you collect all the pieces of the heart of the the story so you go around and collect all the pieces in the world um we will do that a little bit towards the end of the stream we will show you guys where some of the pieces are at i can't show you on this one right now because well at this minute they're already collected so we're going to go ahead and go over the patch notes real quick so sorry if the screen stalls out for a second we're going to go over the hot fixes and i'm just going to slowly read through the ones that make a big Big thing because you guys you guys know most of them you can bring them up as well too while we're looking at them here uh the link is in the description below and while you're scrolling down that way make sure you hit that like button on the way down that way we can go over these things and uh, see what they fixed we'll start with the hot fix so that is hot fix one four point four nine eight three two man that was hard being dyslexic Whew. okay so channel log fixed story loading bugs uh, a few of you guys have uh, reported that as well uh, good job. It was fixed fast and it seems to we'll, we'll test that out and see if it's having any issues uh, Fix the fast travel bug which prevented us from uh, traveling around with attached trailers and uh, Hot fix hog pants loose auto swap bug So Jeremy Graham, what's up, buddy? Let's go man. Welcome So if you guys are liking this patch while I'm just sitting here reading if you guys like it Show it in the little metal horns emoji. And if you're subscribers, Tide Pod. Let's go. Let's get it rolling. Okay, what's up? So now we're going to move down into the actual patch, which came out yesterday, uh, which is the update, which is the 1.4.4, pretty much. Daffin, what's up, man? Okay, so we have the collectible story. So this is the big bulk patch, right? So... This is the stuff that's really going to make a, a impression whether you're going to, um, you know, have it up on the, I don't even know what I was going to say. I, Amanda was supposed to make me coffee. I didn't get my coffee. I don't even know. So no, this, this is the big bulk part of the game, right? So we're, we have the story mode. We have the fast travel, the new paint jobs, the new repairs. We'll go over the new repairs as well. Um, we'll jump onto an old save, like one, one claim, one clean out. Hopefully if it doesn't blow my computer up. Um, so they also have a lot of neat little pictures, animated, animated pics in there. When you're looking through your, your updates, it'll kind of show you a brief explanation of, uh, where everything's at, except for, you know, you got to hunt in for all the little pieces that you need. So, um, so the features are new repairs. The list is below. We'll go over those new vehicle skins, added stories, added fast travel, Redesigned to blacksmith. That's another one that we'll talk about in detail today and uh, dink around with. Redesigned to magnetite system. Redesigned the loan system. Added the possibility to lose the game. You can now fail this game. She needs to get me a sandwich too. Matter of fact, I think she is. She went into town to go cash or something. I don't know what she did. Something. So yeah, you can now lose the game. You can actually lose. You don't. You're not. You don't. Um, you don't just dig, and there's no chance of failure, right? So I think it's so. It's um, normal mode is hundred thousand in the hole. So if you go minus hundred thousand, you hit a. You failed. You should probably not be a gold miner. Um, as well as hard mode being twenty five thousand. So you can only go under twenty five k before you get well. Uh, deleted <laughs> you're done game over buddy you failed like uh yeah y y you sucked should shouldn't be playing <laughs> on hard mode <laughs> so that that's awesome that the, the the risk of going broke um and the hardness of and the difficulty of hard mode with the combination of all the patches that have came out since since hard mode 
have made for me the game it's completely changed it it it's completely changed the game on how how it's how you like just purchasing something as you guys have seen on my hard mode um story that we're going on here we're episode 19 it's a it's a long grind and when you buy something and you upgrade something you feel that accomplishment you feel like holy crap i got something and this thing is going to make a big difference in my playstyle. and you do feel that now when you played the game before if you haven't played the game in a while definitely pick the game up and play it again it's worth going through and playing on hard mode and trying to see if you can be a gold miner right because that's why we wanted the game in the first place and it's finally getting complete enough where you can get a really good feeling of that and it, it, it works well it doesn't seem all wonky and balanced all crazy now with that being said i haven't checked out the blacksmith yet so well <laughs> well we'll, we'll wait, wait on all of, all of that a little bit here so Okay, let's keep going down this list of the patch updates here, and then we'll go, um, we'll set it to a new save, and then we'll go find a couple pieces for you guys. Just go kind of give you a little bit of a, you know, here's a couple pieces, and this is where you can find them, and how easy they are. And then the other ones I will put in a video on where to find all of the pages for unlocking the cow skin. But that'll be about a week. I, don't, I want you guys to give you guys a little bit of time to, um, you know, and I'll probably do a lot of the Easter egg unlocks as well, too, within the game. Because it's been a while. We're coming up on the year anniversary. If you guys haven't found them yet or seen them yet, I'm sorry. But we're going to we're gonna spoil some of the things there uh, while we wait for the rest of the content to be unleashed for the game. And, you know, given to us. So, okay. So, the list of the breakable parts is... We will go down the list here. We have a small diesel pump, which is a filter, a fuse... And then we have the big diesel pump, which is the coil and the pipe, the small electric pump, which is the filter and the fuse, as well as the big electric water pump, which is the engine part, hose, coil, and pipe, the big generator. You can even break the buttons in the generators now. You can even break the, um, all of that, man. You can break buttons, man. Like small generator, you can, the cooler, the magnetite trailer, you can break the valve. The mobile fuel tank, you can break the nozzle. Uh, the big fuel tank, you can break the uh, fuel nozzle as well. Mobile plant, wash plant, the wheel, the engine, and the front jets can all be broken. The nugginator, the jet, the belt, and the pipe. The D-Rocker now can break. So it's on my hard mode. I will have to deal with that. Hey, what's up, Shane and Nate? Yes, yeah, streaming on a Wednesday, man. Or Why am I? It's Wednesday today? Is it Wednesday today? I don't even know date is today. Shit, man. Is that? Is it Wednesday? I don't even know, man. I, I don't. I, I lose track of days. It's all good. So the D Rocker can now break, and that's the cable and the jet. It's still one of the cheapest wash wash plants to repair. Um, and then the magnetite separator, obviously, the hose can now break. So all those repairs have been added. Um, and I still think they're probably going to be putting out more repairs. I don't think that's all of the repairs. Um, they've said, you know, repairs part one, two, now three, um, you know, so it's kind of like, it's how many more and uh, am I going to complain? Absolutely not. Give us more shit that can break. Right. Like I'm all, I'm all down for, for things breaking. Like if you want to, if we want to have to replace wheels and get a bigger jack and, or something else or, you know, something, I don't care. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. As long as it's tuned correctly, right? Like, we don't want to be blowing big tires and make it go broke. You have to be able to finish hard mode. It has to be mathematically possible to complete it, right? So, um, you know, the more stuff that breaks, it's, it's better. It just, needs a, it just needs a good tune on it. So, um, yeah, I do. I do like them both. But obviously, I have a favor to the cow skin because I, I want to murder cows now. Pine Valley is... Uh, Bad, bad mojo. All right, so pretty much that's all the patch notes. And like I said, if you can, if you need to find them and you want to look at what they are and you want to link them yourself, you can find those in the description down below. I have the link, like I said, for the Discord for Gold Rush, where you can buy the game if you don't own it already. And if you don't own it, you need to go buy it. It's not that expensive of a game. Even the collector's edition and all of that, it's not very expensive. It's like thirty something dollars US for the collector's edition and the normal copy of the you know the collectors and the DLC. I believe the Parker's novel comes with the DLC also. And we also will be doing giveaways for that coming up here in the next month or a couple weeks. 
we have a guest to clean out coming in that format for you guys and we do have fifty dollar we do have a fifty dollar steam gift card to give away for the first place whoever can guess the closest to the cleanup on that and that will be coming here like i said maybe next week it, it might be next week so which is like, so let me figure out what the rest of the schedule is like and then we also have the one year anniversary for the channel coming up on october the 12th is when i'm going to host that and we'll probably have a couple of you guys come on and have just a little bit of a party and have, see how you guys feel about the game we'll just kind of talk about it and then maybe down the road we'll be doing another something with the code horizon guys so the code horizon and we'll see what's going on with that and more info on that <laughs> soon soon that's all i can say soon see what's up but until, well, so we're going to get into all the parts we're going to bring a couple things over or actually what do you so what do you guys want to see do you guys want me to go in what do you guys want to see next on the the uh the patch uh, what do you guys want me to do here so we have the we've showed you the, the skins already now do you guys want me to show you guys a couple of the um we'll go with the repairs right october 12th is my birthday well happy birthday that day check out the equipment store real quick here so we did have the parts Okay, so fuel nozzles, how they generally break is when you have them plugged in and you move the fuel trailer away. And then other times they kind of had some issues as well, but, um, you know, well, it's on a dollar. I can't see how much they cost, so. One year anniversary and the release of, of Oregon. Yeah, and yeah, that's what they, that's why I saw that too. That they finally put an announce date out for it because people were thinking that it was coming out this week. So. Magnetite separator hose, D rocker cable, the D rocker jets, just the button, the nugginator pipe, the gold, <laughs> the belts. Like, dude. Like they've they've added a crap ton of stuff. The coolers. Water pump fuse. Like tons of stuff. Oh, the work lights. <laughs> like <laughs> you can break work lights now too so you can't complain the next time i'm doing hard mode and i don't have my freaking lights are broken because i'm too poor to buy lights so don't be getting on my ass <laughs> I, I have an excuse now to play in the dark you leave me alone yeah this is all the old stuff oh and you do need a water filter now um that is something that was uh expressed to us that you do need a water filter now so you have to use a water filter and you'll want to use one as well with um you'll want to use the water filter as well for the next probably upcoming patch i don't know if it's the next one exactly but it's probably coming soon i would i would i would think it's coming soon to a beta near us or beta near you or however that works all right so let's go ahead and, and uh let's just go ahead and open up a new game it doesn't matter about this and we'll go find some pages We'll go find some pages and show you guys a couple of the pages near the starting area. How about that? We won't go into Rivertown and things. I want you guys to explore the claims yourselves. That's that's part of the fun, right? But we'll give you guys a couple. Um, maybe we'll hit up the junkyard and pop over to there. Okay, so where are we at? We are sitting on the main road coming into town. So we have the, let's go down to the factory. I think we'll do the factory and so let's, hop, let's hop into the story, the journal. Let's go down here to story. It's number eight. So yeah, the factory is your first one anyway. So they kind of go in like an order as well, like old Arnold parcel. We'll stay off the claims today. And the radio station, it's, it's you know, some of these are kind of obvious and and stuff, but they're not really hiding. I just don't want to give away the harder ones that are the harder ones to find the claim ones I want you guys out there exploring them like I said then in a week or so I'll put out the the video for all the locations um yeah did they list Carson what's up buddy we are back hoot time yeah, what, yeah, exactly, man. Come on, well, everything's coming on my one-year anniversary. That's going to be crazy. Well, technically, my one-year anniversary is the 11th, right? So, okay, so another another thing, too, is when you're... 
when you're in your truck, you don't see the dialogue. Oh, sorry. I should have let you guys read that. That's bad. That, that was a, a cue that popped up and it shows you, it tells you, you know, hey, when you're close to a, a piece of the paper, it'll pop up with a little thing and we'll show what that is. So there's a piece of, oh, a piece of paper just showed up on the, on the, on the, you know, radar pretty much. Hey, you're close. You're close to a, you're close to a story. Hey, what's up, Zach? Soul, what's up, man? Welcome, welcome. So yeah, it says you're hey you're near you're near a piece of paper. It's down under your FPS down there. You see it blinking. And then you kind of gotta look around for them and see where they're at on the ground. They be they could be tucked in anywhere. They could be under a log, you know. So just kind of look around. But most of the time they're kind of just you know sitting here under a bench. Great job! You finally found a piece. And so you look, you get uh, for the story you get a discount on gas and a one percent discount at the warehouse. So you do get perks for unlocking your story um however if you're in hard mode you won't be able to unlock the full story and the full cow skin until you unlock um all your claims so you can go get the last few remaining pieces so that's kind of why i did a video separate from my normal hard mode because i can't unlock it in hard mode yet and i don't like I said i don't want to cheat on or, or use dollar mode or anything like that on my normal my normal save so so you have another one behind the dumpster down here. And they're just they're just all in random locations, right? So there's I'm not gonna show you where all of them are. We're gonna we're gonna click on the blacksmith while we're here. And we're gonna show you how this works. We're gonna talk about it a little bit. A lot of people are a little irritated with the um a little irritated with it, but it just takes a little getting used to it. It's not like that's not how it used to be, right? So you have your upgrade. I don't have any gold. I should jump the other one actually. So you can upgrade, buy a small burner kit, upgrade time, smelting, reduced, reduced time, reduced smelting time. Sorry. And this is the cost, reduce the smelting cost, loss, as well as maximum amount increased. Then there's obviously another level. It goes down and then it unlocks. So how it works now is you use your magnetite which you see in the upper corner now, you don't just have a gold, but you have a mag. And your mag is what you use to upgrade your blacksmith now. So that way he is upgradable and you can then purchase and make him more efficient at what he's doing. So at first he's a newbie just like you. So you're gonna go along a little story with him as well. So you're gonna kinda like, hey, you know, I'm a, I'm a big time miner coming into town. We're gonna mine a ton of gold. And well, I'm gonna give you this crappy worthless black sand and then you're gonna be a professional at something. So apparently you're giving them white or black cocaine, I guess. Here you go. Here's some here's some here's some magical dust, and you're now gonna be better at your job. So I don't know what you'd call that, but that is narcotics in my book. <laughs> oh okay, move along. <laughs> but, but yeah, that is it's interesting. It's gonna change the game a little bit. I haven't played with the mechanic yet It's gonna be interesting to see how it works. I'm gonna have to go back and farm a little bit of magnetite on my save But um, it's gonna be fun. It's a new unique system in the game. It's gonna be fun to whoo black cocaine <laughs> It's like no split we just call that huff and charcoal. Okay, man calm down calm down yeah, so it's it's gonna be interesting to see how this plays because I did not play the beta uh, this time around. I've just been busy being out of town. You guys all know how that works. Um, okay, let's go over and find. There's one that I had a, the one that I had though a hard time with, and there's just a there's a lot of pieces there. Is is the the factory the actual magnetite factory, which was kind of odd. It was it was throwing me for a loop, but it could have been the the bug that they hot fixed today. Um, so we'll go over to the factory. There's also some pages along here, guys. This is a little bit of a spoiler. Um, you get through. There's nothing. There's nothing. There's just a, you know. There's a couple pieces. You just gotta pay attention to where your map says to go, and then look in that area and just kind of run around on it, and you'll find the pieces of paper. It, it'll even show you how many pieces of paper are in the um, in the journal. So, like say for instance, you come to your Blacksmith, see? Here's the blacksmith. Just grabbed two papers there. 
and you know his story i'm not going to read through all the story stuff for you guys i'll leave that up to you guys um in the video that i'm going to do we'll go over the story and we'll stay on the pages for a little bit longer um also we'll post post some screenshots in the discord so that way you guys can take a look at the uh, actual story and what they say but for this for this live stream we're not going to read through everything like that i want to i want to save some of the story stuff for you guys um so that way you guys can you know find it on your own so magnetite factory so it says there should be three there Let's go ahead and head over and we'll we'll show you guys where these ones are and maybe the junkyard as well too and give you the um everyone keeps asking me where in the hell do you find the damn hood so i think it's time for me to finally show you guys where it's at and we'll do that as well in the uh, story mode unveil as well as the old arnold all in one gigantic holy crap here it's at here's here's where it's all at right he did it he finally did it <laughs> he showed us where it's all at all right so i've done this already you have so this is for the the magnetite factory you got one that sits over in the corner by the fence sometimes you got to crouch to look under the fence so you can grab it that's weird you have four good truck tyler tires <laughs> another one on this side by the uh, guard shack here and then as you go in here's a fast travel we'll play with the fast travel too here in a second you'll notice your, you know you will notice your little uh your indicator will light up too so and when you're getting close like i was saying it get, it'll get close and it'll pop there is one by the excavator so you can see it's not showing up so you do have to be relatively close to these papers for them to show up See, it just showed up now, right in this area. So you have to be, like I said, you have to be pretty close. You're not just going to be able to look around and be like, oh, hey, I found every piece of paper in like two minutes. So it's going to get you out looking at stuff, which you would normally not look at either, which is awesome. All, I mean, all the time that they spend, um, you know, building the mechanics of the game and the vehicles, most of the time this stuff gets overlooked, right? Like all the detail that they've put in, and the hours that they put into making the everything the skins all the pieces of the equipment in the background it's they've like I said, they've done a good job i'm glad that the story mode's finally here because it can really showcase the the work that these guys do and that they've done with so far especially on this engine right there's just so much the old magnetite factory Okay, I'll find a couple more pieces. So you had the first one up by the gate, guard shack, and then in the excavator over here. Then we'll keep moving down the, the way because there's a couple more of them here. There's a lot of them here at the Magnetite Factory, actually. You thought for sure there was going to be a page in the waterfall. So did I. Uh, so there's one by the bin. Well, as we have one straight across over here. Grab this one also. Then there's another page right here. So all these pages that you're getting are unlocking like fuel discounts and things like that. So kind of like going around the town, getting to know everybody in the beginning of your story. So, and like I said, unless you're use if you're trying to do hard mode, and then there's one behind the, the vehicle on this side. Here. Go ahead and tab in. Go to the journal. And you'll see the Magnetite Factory now is... The whole story's here. It's it's all you get little pieces at a time and fragments of it per piece of paper. Magnetite Factory, I think, is the largest, has the most pieces in it. Um Yeah, the the, the Magnetite Factory is it's kinda like it's a two sectioned uh like story. It's 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 the biggest story um actually as far as pa page wise. It's actually the biggest um it's the most map pages here. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces here. Yeah, so there's seven. We're not going to show you where they are on, on old Arnold. Oh, excuse me. Ah, damn. Whew. That one didn't feel right. So yeah, we're not going to show you guys where all of them are, but we're going to show you where a couple of people have asked. I just can't find them or find the place. So we're going to show you where the junkyard is real quick and then we'll stop leaking uh, where some of the pages are and we'll let you guys go look at them.
we'll go we'll go over and we'll show you guys finally if you guys haven't seen where the hood truck is if you don't want to see where it's at well sorry mr gamma gargoyle what's up buddy and then we'll go over and we'll take a look at some of the pieces we'll bring them to the claim and see what they look like when you tear off the uh some of the repair pieces we won't we don't need to hook them up i don't think so if i do then i'll just i'll jump onto another save and we'll we'll take a look at that but we're just kind of save hopping today and uh to kind of see how the uh, patch is doing it'll be interesting to see how it, how it handles one claim one cleanup save so uh oh i'm already lost myself oh no Oh, okay, no, I'm not. I gotta keep going this way. Aha! GG! Still snowing? Dude, I could use a little bit of snow. I could use a little bit of snow, right? Like, we'll check out the new shop as well, guys. All the new stuff in the shop. When we come back this way, we'll, uh, we'll take a look at that. Like, what the actual pieces physically look like for you guys. For all you people that are wondering or can't play the game, hopefully we're uh, showing you guys what you guys need to see for the patch. Quick, simple little stream today, guys. Then I can go off to, you know, mining my stuff away or playing the forest or laying on the couch with a, with a beer in my hand. Okay, so there, are, like I said, there are pages all along here, but you're not going to find them in your truck. So the best way that I found to find them is to, first off, look at your journal. Go to your stories. Say it says radio station. Okay, radio station. Map. Where's the radio station at? Okay, where is it? Radio station is, hey, there it is, right there. Radio station. How do you get to the radio station? Right, you go into town, go up your road, and then start looking along the road and up around, you know, all around that area, as much as it lets you look around. I guess you can find pages in your truck now. Hey, what do you know about that? That was nice. That was not there yesterday. That was not there. It would not show up while you're in your truck. Oh, thank goodness. That makes it so much better. Or, is it, or, or am I just glitched out right now? Is that what's going on? Seriously? We'll see if it shows up. I see, I see the page. No? Okay. Nope. I just glitched it out. That's all. That broke something else. Gosh damn it. Yeah, stop breaking things. <laughs> Oops, my bad. <laughs> so exiting your truck and then back in will leave a page lock on your uh, on your window. My bad. So yes, you still can't find them while you're in the truck. Okay, that, that got me a little excited. I was like, oh, you can see me in your truck. Nope, just a glitch. Sorry, split. My bad. <laughs> Oops. All right, so when, after you come off this bridge, so I'll, I'll explain where we're going here. So where we're going is we are going to the junkyard. And the junkyard is past the bridge that takes you, you know, Totem Village, around the side, up and under. Like, you're going to go to uh, Pine Valley. Um, but before you come, right after the bridge, you're going to want to take a, uh, a right up here. And this will take you to the junkyard. And there's two things here for the story, and there's also some cool scenery. So make sure you guys come back here. Check it out. Like, I also have the stream on Ultra today, so that way it looks a little nicer for you guys. Check out the scenery. Like, really showcase the story, because the story is something that's... It's not a very big thing in the game. It doesn't take you very long to do. But, um... It's good that we finally have it, right? A little bit of fill in the story. Um... Kind of would have been nice if there was a little bit more Gold Rush style, maybe? Like, Parker and... Some of those guys but i don't know if anybody noticed it over there on the side but i was trying to just do the creeper by it with without saying anything but uh okay so here here's the here's the junkyard is where we're at now and for the junkyard if you guys are wondering how we got the hood scoops it wasn't because we were special individuals and code horizon loved us it's just that we played around christmas time and for a while we had hood scoops and then after the after it went away, they put it in the game in the junkyard. So this is where it's been sitting. So if you ever have to start your save over again and you really love your freaking hood scoop, make sure you come over and hit up the uh, the junkyard because this is where you'll find it. 
And all you have to do is just equip it. And there it is. It's on your truck. So that's where you get the hood scoop from Christmas. That's awesome. Thank you, Code Horizon, for giving us a, uh, a hood scoop. I think it actually makes the truck look pretty decent. I like it. Nice little nice little change. Maybe they can give us the uh, the slats back on our side again. They can hide those somewhere. That'd be that'd be awesome. Or some custom other custom other things on the truck, right? Yeah, like a different grill. Yeah. Where's our Diesel Brothers grill? Yeah, where's that? Where can I find that in the world? What's going on, boys? <laughs> He's been being a turd. What's when he's gonna come take his gut? Yeah, he's gonna come take my money. I'm gonna be broke. All right, so now that we're at the junkyard, Chet, you were wondering about this. Uh, one of them's on the post. Now, well, now that you probably know how to get here, it's it doesn't it doesn't say junkyard. So this one's on the uh, tree, and then there's another one over here as well. Back, I believe it's on a stump on the back side here. Push bars. Oh yeah, here it is. It's in the little construction sign here all right so that's the ones we have so as you can see you can confirm that you have them go in Oop, that's not it journal story and then you have your junkyard here you go and just because we have to just because we have to we're going to show you one other location and that is because i got to do it to them and this is Mr. Tyler, the Canadian. We're going to go show everybody where your story's at. Because, well, here's your broken piece of shit helicopter over here that you crashed. Trying to deliver my buckets. So, um, yeah, buddy. I we see your helicopter over there in the junkyard. Mm -hmm. And these are all the trailers I've tried to back up in my day. You know, can't back up anything. Or split, can't drive. What's up, Lavish? What's up, buddy? Make sure if you're in the chat right now and you're not, if you're not a normal, normal viewer, make sure you guys say howdy, howdy. Don't be afraid to say what's up. There's a lot of cool people here in the channel that play Gold Rush a ton. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours. Um, you know, I just I think on my friends list alone, I think there's over 15,000 hours played of Gold Rush. Which is absolutely insane. You guys are savages. I mean, I know I make up like, you know, half of that, but... <laughs> half, that game, half that game time is me, but I'm sorry. My bad. Heli is still in the lake too. Yeah, there's two helis apparently. Two people crashed them. So I guess apparently Tyler's uh, just crashing helicopters all over the place. And uh, yeah. Thank you very much for posting those, uh, Mr. Wayne. Yeah, like he was saying right there in the description there, in the, in the uh, chat there, like for the Steam store, you can find the newest, latest patch news. I'm not going to repeat them again. I just went over them a little while ago. Um, as well, you can find all the patch notes. You can find the Gold Rush Discord for any upcoming betas and any information that you might need to report your bugs. All that stuff is all there, as well as where you can buy the game, and you can check it out. It's not that expensive, so you're right. Half of it or ninety. Hmm. <laughs> More, yeah, probably all of it. No. <laughs> Just, just all of it. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to show you where all the papers are. I just want to show you a couple of the stories. And and the junk card was asked because of the hood scoop. So I figured I'd finally show it. Um, we'll do a teaser and then I will come out with a video. Pretty much of all the pieces and where they're at. Uh, like I said, in about a week. I just got to get it all filmed up and uh, we'll put it out for you guys. All the little teasers, trailers, things that make the game. The little things in the game where you're just like, awesome. That's cool, right? And then... Those are also the things that irritate the trolls, right? How dare you put in all that garbage filler? You need to focus on your game and fix your bugs, Code Horizon. <laughs> Sorry, have to. <laughs> have to. When's multiplayer coming out? Never if you keep asking. Mr. James Blue, what's up, buddy? How you doing, man? All right, so Mr. Tyler, he's uh, down in the lake over there. Um, yeah, he's, he crashed his, so we have one on this side, it's on a post. And you guys have all seen Tyler, he's one of the, uh, moderators for the game. Or not moderators, yeah, he's a moderator for the, uh, 
Uh, I think it's Steam, right? I believe is what it is. One of the Steam mods for uh, for them. And there's one on this uh, rock over here. Damn haters, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Damn freaking haters. Haters gonna hate. All right, so let's go to Bear Paw Lake. There it is. Oh gosh. Freaking menu is a little is a little wonky. If you don't mess it up like me. Oh, Mr. Tyler the Canadian went down. Let's see. Tyler is uh, apparently a really bad pilot, and you should never order things from his delivery service. Is what I'm reading from here, and in, in, in the split and two breakdown. Um, apparently his engine just wants to stop, and uh, he's at 1,200 meters right now. Yeah, so um, he's definitely uh, definitely got some issues. We'll see if uh, we can. We'll, we'll see if we can. Uh, like I said, I'm not gonna read the, the stories all the way through for you guys. I want you guys to do that um, on your own. I want you guys to get out there and play the game. All right, we'll 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 see if I can do something here real quick. I know they're gonna. I know they're gonna be mad at me, but let's see if it works still. Sorry, right, guys. Da 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 da. We're going swimming, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Oh snap! We're gonna go in the helicopter. Hmm. Hey, what's up, gas? You no, know, this is actually a quite a beautiful lake out here. Finally, a dredge and gold rush. It is. There's the dredge. It's just a, it just looks like a helicopter. <laughs> it just looks like a helicopter. <laughs> The water just vanishes. Yeah, it's there's because there's no swimming. You're not supposed to be back here, by the way, guys. You're you're not supposed to be back here. Um, yeah. But a different view of Tyler's helicopter. A nice little beach back here. You can just kind of sit back, kick your legs back, you know, hide from Tony Beats. Don't gotta worry about him come stealing your gold by the lake. Kind of relax. It's all nice and nice and shimmery back here. Crack a couple of beers. <laughs> I was, dude, he completely just murdered the helicopter into the lake. I mean, good good landing. I mean, so which way did he come from? Let's, let's, let's plot this out here. Which way did Tyler come in from? Where was he coming hot at? Do you think it was like... Do you think he was coming out of the Nighthawk Mountains and just pulverized into the lake? Or... Did he come from town and uh, crash coming out of town? Right? Like, what was the, what was he doing when he crashed? Yeah, you can explore all of this back here if you can get through there, like I just did. It's not it, this will not corrupt your save or anything like that, guys. Um, doing this coming back here like that because you can always just fast travel back to your truck. And you're good to go, but there is some scenery back here that you guys can explore um, through there. There is a little bit of a jump through the, the the fence bug, but most games don't have the collision detection to stop you from doing that. So, and since this is a single player game, you're not gonna harm anything by coming back. But yeah, see, I just cut right through, cut right through. Well, I think I can get through here. Maybe not. Maybe there's a barrier here. No, can't get through that end. Drinking, smoking some weed. He saw a Sasquatch and freaked. Yeah, these mountains, so you can go really far into the mountains. If you wanted to, you could literally just walk around these mountains. Fine, so you can walk from Bear Lake, where the helicopter's at, to all the way to Nighthawk and all the way around back here. Now I did it. I'm in trouble. Okay. Okay, so let's, let's go back to the truck. And then we'll go, uh, we'll go, we'll go to, uh, okay, so now we showed you a couple, we showed you a little bit of sneak peek on where a few of them are. And, uh, then what we'll do is we're going to hop onto another save and we're going to check out the actual, that's my holy shit save. We got to save that one. That's my, and that one. Hardbow test two. Where's it at? Where's the one with all the money? There we go. Gold.
load this one. Cross our fingers. Did I start over again? No, I didn't start over again. I'm just I'm just showcasing uh, the um, some of the stuff that they added uh, for the patch that came out and the hotfix. So this is an old one. A lot of you guys remember this one. This is where I started over after I was starting Nighthawk. So um, yeah, so we're gonna go take a look at the wash plants and the breakable parts and see what we have that we can uh, take off and kind of fix some things and and see and then we'll probably end her at that guys. So it's just there's you know, just want to come on and showcase the patch today for you guys for about an hour. You know, show a couple of the uh, storyline, you know, peaks, show you where the hood is. Um, you know, just show you guys a little bit of something something. I mean, the game's actually running pretty good for being on ultra, right? Like with all the Franks, this save has got quite a bit of things on it, so... Not bad, boys. Not bad. That's the one with 50 Frankensteins? Yep. Okay. So let's make sure repairs are turned on first. Go into the options. Oop, game. Go machine failures. On. So that way we can at least take some things off the uh, equipment. So how do you take these little things off? Is it the button? No? No? Did I just smack it with a screwdriver? Oh. Or do I, I, I have to like push it a whole bunch of time until it breaks? Oh, we're doing the we're doing the freaking power box wrap. Oh, oh shit! Yeah, we're talking now. Look at the plugs. Is it out here that it breaks? No, it's a it says button, but it could not be on the big. It could be on the this thing too, right? No, nope, that's a switch. <laughs> Doing some DJ in there. <laughs> All right. All right. So where do you know we can take apart the um this? So let's go take a look at the uh, Nugginator, which we have down here. I believe. Yes, we do. We do have one. We have. Belt comes off. That's nice. Okay, so let's make sure we look at the here. So it says Nugginator has a jet, a belt, and a pipe. Okay. Well, that's about what I have right now, too. A jet, a belt, and a pipe. Uh, what one is it? Question. Cursed jets. Take these out and see what happens. Guess I can't just I can't just break it. No? Not gonna let me? No? Where are you at? What are you gonna show up as? Come on, you. Oh there it is. Okay, that works. Just look for a nut. Yeah, just look for nuts. T dot man, thank you, buddy. Appreciate that, man. Of course, man. Always bringing the gold rush content. We're trying. Let's see, and the other one is where's the other piece that comes off here? No, I thought it was these. Maybe eh, pipe wrench, probably. No. Oh, there it is. This little guy right here. Man, you really gotta look for that little one. Some of these little, some of these little screws you gotta really, uh, really hunt for. That's nice. 
that's nice that they're not just like, oh, here you go, let's uh, let's just put this wrench right here anywhere near it and then just repair it, right? Because most games would do that, right? You would be like, you would think most games like this style of game, you just walk up and go, hey, my uh, wave table's broken, let's just put the wrench on it and just hit the button and it repairs it, right? Like, like we were playing the forest, you know, it's like you, you repair something, you just kind of walk up to it with your hammer and smack it with your hammer and it repairs, right? I really do like the interactive uh, repairs in the game that they're doing. It makes you feel like the whole Macar Arm Mechanic Simulator style games and and um yeah that's really nice that there's multiple pieces per that's good that's good uh trommel that this trommel still does not break i believe that the uh the duplexes don't break either or the uh gravel pumps so i'm just wondering where the little uh why i can't pull these out you use a screwdriver or do I like have a sledgehammer or <laughs> do I ch is this not the button that breaks we'll just break something here gotta be a button I can rip off of somewhere where's it the no it's not the fuel pump where's it at all right so we got let's see nuggetator's new D rocker magnetite separator we don't have one of those here that's a little hose too. I'm just looking at them. There's a lot of little repairs, but uh, big electrical engine. Okay, we'll go look at that one actually because we do have one of those over here. The plugs had screws in them. Oh, good spot. Do they? Oh nope. Let's just stick the 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 you know the screwdriver in the light in the socket here. Hmm. No. And no. I don't know. I don't I don't know where that one is. So it says the big pen power generator button. But I can't get any indicators for it to keep it on the top button, Martin Mart says. No, it's not the. Not getting an indicator to pop up. Weird. That's the off button. Is it the. Yeah, that's. No. Nope, I don't, I don't, they're not popping. All right, let's see how to take this thing apart. What do we got here? Just find where it's at. Here we go. Try the cables. Maybe if I unconnect, no, eh, because the other ones are unconnected, so. That hose comes down. Here. Okay, that's a pretty cool looking hose. I like that. Turn it on. Turn it off and then it might work. Alright, awesome. Something we can pull off of there. I don't think we have to do that. I don't think the other side pumps off, but... Okay, where's the screws? There's the... It says that the big one has engine part. So I would imagine I would need the screw gun for this. No? No? Okay. Well, pull the whole engine here. I agree. Let's see some dozer derby. Yeah, that was uh, that was pretty good at the end of the other Gold Rush video that I did. If you guys haven't watched it, I did get the dozer completely stuck. Like, but I was able to wall ride out of it, so that was pretty uh, interesting. Okay. play this save later no wonder nothing's working it is because this save is probably so jacked up i agree 
This save is probably so mangled. We broke the thousand yard mark on this thing twice, like almost back to back. This this save is pretty pretty jacked up. Oh hey, that's right. We have uh fuel hoses. Open the cabinet. There is there's nothing for me to open it. I'm not seeing anything there. Okay, well, the fuel nozzles can come off. That's awesome. Let's just unplug this crap. This thing could just be broken as hell. I mean, the save was annihilated, right? So the save was uh, pretty bad. Just blow it up. I would, I would think it was like the crowbar. Hmm. Just, just blow it up and just beat it up. Yeah, I don't, I don't know where it's at. But I don't know how to unlock this thing. I thought maybe it'd be the the thing, but. No. On top. On top. Oh god, it's not here! Oh no! You should start another save and do it all from the beginning. Uh, no. I'm not gonna be starting another save until we get, um, leaderboards or hard mode. Um, or not hard mode, sorry, leaderboards or the other one. It's, uh, atmospheric conditions. There's no point in me restarting again. Right now, at this point, that'll just, I, I will have to grind for another 500 hours, and, well, it's not, that's not gonna happen right now. After a year playing the game, almost 1,200 hours, I still have another 300 hours to go before I'm even done with hard mode. Not even close to being done with hard mode. If I'm lucky, I'll be done in 300 hours. So, yeah, for when seasons come out, exactly. So, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure why I can't pop that out. It's probably just the the glitched ass save. So, yeah, if you want to watch me restart over a bunch of times, there's plenty of videos for that. Um, if you want to watch one, a matter of fact, a really good one is the Mega Mega Cut and the Colossal Cut. So, those are good ones. So yeah, let's we'll see one more thing: small pump, fuse hose, coils. So it pretty much just fuses and hoses and stuff like that. Uh, which is good, and we need all those little things to be repaired. Um, fast travel. Well, do we even do any fast travel at all? More like 500 hours? Um, I'm going to try and take out Pine Valley in like 100 hours. <laughs> so, no mercy. Oh, I guess I'll show you guys one more spot before we end it here today, guys. One more spot. We're at, we're at an hour long for the stream. There's we're running out of things to kind of show you guys, and without spoiling all the spots, but we'll show you uh, one more spot on Nighthawk that took me a little bit to find. So I did, but that was a different save, though. That was a different save. Okay, so if you're missing one piece. On Nighthawk and you can't find the other ones but I'm not gonna show you where they're at I'm gonna show you this one because this is the one that most people have a hard time with and it's right up here on this right up here on this I think it's on the rock where is it at right here somewhere right here here we go so it's if you're looking at your claim it's directly across from the bridge is where this one is and this is the one that most people don't find and they can't find it. it's the hardest one i think to, for people that i don't know why people you just we walk by it a million times right you're walking you're just looking through their claim it's this one right here so right between the path that comes down you will find one of the harder pieces so yeah lucas that page does suck <laughs> exactly so that's the one i'll leave you guys with the last little spoiler until we do the video to unleash all the pages and the stories to unlock the cow skin hopefully you guys enjoyed the stream today there's not much more I can pack into this one, guys. Um, I would get on and grind some some, some dirt out, but uh, I do need to take care of some stuff. It is my off day, so I hope you guys liked it. And if you did, hit that like button. 
And if you didn't, well, sorry. But yeah. But yeah, anyways, make sure you guys click the links below for the uh, support the dev team. Go out there, leave a good review. Make sure you guys hit up the um, the patch notes if you want to find out a little bit more. If I might have missed something, I just kind of skimmed over them real quick. Um, as well as, you know, any of the pages, we'll, we'll do all that too. So um, if you guys have any questions, make sure you guys hit me up on my Discord as well. The link is not in the description, but you can click on any of my older videos to find that link. It's not there right now because I was trying to just showcase the patch today a little bit. And um, we'll bring any other information that comes out for you guys. You guys can find all your, um, you guys can find all of your Gold Rush news most of the time here as well too. So if you haven't hit that like button and subscribe, make sure you hit it. Make sure you turn your bell notification on. Mondays, Tuesdays are Gold Rush. So if you're just here to watch Gold Rush, those are typically the days that I play them. Jock, what's up, man? Thank you very much. Back to the force now. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm going to go. Uh, I have some, some housework to do. Kind of clean up the house for the week. Take care of the wifey here. Back, so thank you guys very much for watching and i will catch you on another stream peace out boys and girls enjoy your week i will see you on saturday for some ats multiplayer and something else multiplayer we'll figure that out too so ladies you guys have a good one